Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna try to knock out an achievement. As you can see on the left, there was a botched attempt to do this earlier. Um, but we're gonna try to do this regardless. But what character? With what character? The achievement, by the way, this is gonna ruin our streak, but... The achievement is, uh, to beat the lamb in under 20 minutes. So it's gonna be full-on speedrun territory. There are a couple of achievements I haven't gotten in the game yet. And I figured, you know what? If not now, then freaking when. If not now, then freaking when. Um, ooh, Capricorn's a great choice here. Uh, actually, according to Steam, I'm missing 14 achievements. I don't understand. Um, I think I just have to verify the integrity of the game cache, and that should handle it, because... I mean, I didn't even start using any mods at all until we'd already gotten achievements like, for example, uh, beat Delirium with any character. That's something we've already handled, so, uh, I'm not sure why stuff like that shows up as not being done, but, you know, the game has had a little bit of a sordid history of not necessarily always keeping track of your achievements 100%, and you know what? That's okay. But we're gonna try to knock this out for our own, uh, well-being anyway. Because it needs to be done. The other achievement that I think I, well, I would almost guarantee I have not done yet is one called It's the Key. This one is called Zip. Um, It's the Key is, I, I would say, analogous to beating Spelunky without ever picking up any gold. Except maybe a little easier because you're not beholden to, like, the physics of gold hitting a bomb and then accidentally falling on you. Um, you have to beat the whole run, never picking up bombs, coins, or, ooh, I don't know, this could be, normally this benefits us if we want to go uh, on a long run, but we'll, we'll see what we can make out of Teleport 2.0 regardless. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Either way, that run uh, is, is difficult. I know, because the run that <laughs> was botched originally started out as being, uh, let's do that, you know, you can pick up keys, and you can pick up consumables, uh, and, and, you know, spirit hearts and stuff like that, via an item, for example, if you get squeezy, you get the, well, I don't know, if that drops spirit hearts in the ground, you don't get them, let's say, um, safety pin, safety pin gives you a black heart, you're okay to take safety pin, at least to the best of my knowledge, um, and then on the second floor, I was talking, and I picked up a bomb, because I've done 3,000 episodes of this game, and never have I ever done a run where I tried not to pick up stuff, so, um, basically, I'm pretty sure that that challenge is going to be the death of me, but we are going to start to try to get it, um, because those are the, I believe at least, the last two legitimate achievements that I'm missing right now, so, we'll give it a shot. I am going to be a little aggressive here as well to try to get stronger. Didn't really work, but the idea, of course, is that, oh, that was really dumb. Um, we want to get as overpowered as possible, because, it, you know, there, there's a couple of different spectrums by which we can get to uh, the lamb fight in 20 minutes. One of them is being very fast, the other one is being very strong. And I think that that was an incredibly bad bit of damage to take, but I, I'm interested in being incredibly fast and incredibly strong if we can get it, so see what we get in our deal with the devil. Absolutely, we will take Abaddon. And you know what? To spice it up, let's take duality as well. I actually feel like beating the lamb in 20 minutes with Azazel is not really a super difficult challenge. I think it's fairly well balanced. I've probably gotten a, a couple of under 20 minute runs in Afterbirth Plus in general. But I doubt that any of them have gone to the lamb because I know myself. And uh, 99 times out of 100, I will take the Polaroid unless we have a reason to take the negative. So I really think that on this run, especially with Capricorn and, and some decent range upgrades early, um, the big deal for us right here is going to be, and it, it sounds cocky, but I mean this, and, and, and you having watched, you know, episodes of mine will probably agree with this. Um, I think the big deal is going to be, A, surviving, but, you know, B, making sure we pick up the negative and then remember to go through the right doors. Because, uh, you know, I don't necessarily have the greatest track record when it comes to that. Always, at least. Now that was just bravado. You might be fast, but fast enough to, you know, beat the Kessel Run in four parsecs? I don't know. I'm gonna try to get some good pills or, you know, Liberty Cap or something. Bombs or Key is bad. Puberty is actually a good pill. I still don't know, you know, I don't mean to rag on them. It's very minor on the Isaac to-do list. But why does Puberty 
give you the katonk sound when you use it. It's a good pill. What's bad about it? It doesn't do nothing. It's one third of an HP upgrade. That's all right as far as pills go. So this run, uh, just straight up, like I feel like, you know, a certain contingent of people are not necessarily going to be huge fans of this run, and that's fair. This is going to be an attempted speed run. It's not attempting to be the fastest run ever, but it is attempting to beat it in under a certain time. So, if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to watch runs like that, value your time, you know? Be picky with, uh, with what you watch. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, for example, we are going to skip the item room. Because as valuable as the item room is going to be, 45 seconds is probably going to be more valuable. Just because of the kind of run that we're on. But um, I'm definitely going to curse rooms because having the ability to teleport is, is excellent. Golden Teleporter may be surprisingly underrated. Um, I don't want to say speedrunning item because there are better items. But for a challenge like this, it actually can save us a lot of time. Because if we teleport at a dead end... It will teleport us to the closest unexplored or at least undefeated room that we've gone to. Which honestly means that if we get to a dead end and we have a full charge, we should teleport and it should take us to a room that we haven't done yet that could conceivably be uh, the right direction to finish the run. So, I'm actually fairly happy with what we got going on here. Just remember to use it like that. I, I really think, uh, wow, fool, fool. I really think that probably the um, the split that we're looking for here. Oh, the excuse me, the game crashed. Yo, but how so? Okay, there we go. It's back. Um, that was scary. I mean, not that scary. This Azazel run is not a ten. It's like an eight and a half. We could probably get another one that works, but still, I would rather not lose this one. Um, what was I gonna say? I think I think the split we're looking for is we want to beat. Mom, by around 10 minutes. You know, that's six floors. We have to go four floors after that, but they're, f they're four larger floors, and they're four tougher floors. So if we can get to Mom, and this is actually still, like, a pretty big ask, but if we can get to Mom and defeat Mom by 10 minutes, I'll feel pretty good. Even if we can't, if we're close... I mean, obviously, I'm not just going to scrap it, you know? If we're close, I'm going to give it a shot regardless. But if we're over, like, 15 minutes by the time we, we hit Mom, we should probably just scrap this run and start another one over the course of this video. But I would really like to get this done on, well, what is effectively my second try. But my first try doing it for the whole episode, at least. So I think, uh, just take Mom's purse. And actually prefer to be a little bit faster right now. Justice, Temperance, Justice. So pop Justice, pop Justice. I think I'm going to go buy that Spirit Heart. Don't really care about an arcade. Uh, but I was hoping for an Emperor card. Pretty much an ideal boss fight for it. Or for our run right here. And this is going to be a very isaac uh run in terms of our conversation as well. Because I got to stay pretty focused on this. This The Zip It Challenge is going to be like, I don't want to make you not watch my videos. I'm very thankful uh, when you watch my videos, and I find it incredibly flattering. But in the interest of being honest with you, probably not going to be too zany of commentary, but the run will hopefully make up for that on the Zip It... Uh, wait, this is the Zip Challenge. Uh, on the It's the Key Challenge. That one is going to be a freaking nightmare, because we, we can never pick up a bomb, which is something we've always done. You know, you think muscle memory is bad for picking up the Polaroid. There's literally never been a run where we didn't want to pick up bombs, you know? Maybe sometimes we've wanted to make that happen with equality or something, but... Even that is a, a pretty rare and, and niche scenario, so... Uh, that challenge is going to be genuinely challenging. Seriously, I never did the no gold challenge in Spelunky. I tried many, many times. They were all on stream, which is not conducive to... You know, keeping your focus to begin with, but still. So I'd like to be out of this floor, uh, well, first off, when I meet Jim West. But secondly, I'd like to be out of this floor right now, uh, effectively. Trying to use... You know, we, we've got all these tools available to us, we should try to take advantage of them. I'm very thankful that we have range. Range is not always something you grab on an Azazel run. Um, I'm gonna say that the teleporter, because it guarantees us access to um, boss rush... 
is probably worth taking. I know the Fool card does that as well, but, you know, there's a there's a rub with the Fool card we have to walk. Also, we're not going to use the Fool card because we have the Sun card now. And we're going to use the Sun card on the next floor to figure out where the boss fight is as quickly as possible. I think we're still going to make it. Like, 10 minutes seems realistic to me right now. Probably some of the most brazen and shitty dodging I've ever done, but it got the job done. And that did not raise it. Actually, we blew up a judgment just like a minute ago, so that shouldn't really be a surprise. Straddle the line! Straddle the line! We got him! They did nothing! Thank you very much for your support. Oh, and we popped that deal with the Devil Cherry as well. We are at least doing angel runs. You know what? Give me a Bible. I don't care. Okay. So... We should use the sun card. If possible, I would love to uh, get mapping as well. But mapping is not on the way to the mom fight, so... Should also, to be honest with you, pick and choose the rooms that we do. Like this room... We could have just used a bomb, right? And that would have solved some problems. Very important, self. Remind yourself that it's... <sighs> try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. Remind yourself that on this run, um, we're taking the negative. We are taking the item on the right of Joker, two of spades. That's also fine. I know I'm leaving behind all these keys. We're taking the item on the right of the uh, item pedestals that we get down here. Kind of a slower mom fight than I was hoping, just but mostly due to our own damage. Brain's getting fucking scrambled by this challenge, dude. But Azazel's definitely the right character. Just because you need less to enable a great run to exist. Sure, Isaac allows you to, you know, sort through the bad items, get to good ones faster. Dude, we are killing the odds here. Why Angel Rooms? Just for, just for interest's sake, honestly. We're about 15 seconds slower than I'd like to be. Midas Touch, uh, Robo Baby, a fly and a fly. We're gonna take Midas Touch just on the off chance we can make this happen. And then we're going to run very, very fast. Fast enough that we don't care about that dime, but for some reason do care about this key. Alright, so we got nine minutes and change. I would like to be going faster. The Midas Touch pickup, uh, it buys us time if we get some invincibility. In all likelihood, we will not get any invincibility but certainly if we get the chance to get like a unicorn stump or something like that be aware and also you know if you are confident of the direction that you're going drop a bomb like if it would take us more time to beat that room than it would to get through it twice with dropping a bomb we should just drop the bomb this room on the other hand is you know fairly simple so I'd rather not waste time using bombs on it if we don't have to. Plenty of battery charges as well. <laughs> Probably won't get to make an error room, but I appreciate, you know, it's the thought that counts. Alright, so we're holding it together. That's great stuff. We're going to be out of this floor by 12 minutes. Moving on. Teratoma is not a difficult fight for us as a Zazel. Now let's beat the odds and grab another deal, please. You know there's got to be a good angel item in there somewhere. Maybe not. Experimental treatment has lowered our damage, raised our luck, raised our range as well. So the lower damage might be relatively minor. Now, very important, self. See, I'm not directing this at the game. I'm not directing this at you, commenters. Directing at myself, because that's where the problem lies here. It's very important to remember we are going to shoal. So we do not... Wow, these guys are fast. We do not wish to go up to the cathedral. I mean, it's a really good relax pill with Midas Touch, but let's not get ridiculous. Try to mine it for a little bit of luck, maybe. That was irrelevant. Why am I still doing this? It's the Golden Poops, dude. They have a siren song. Um, we sure as shit don't want to do the hush fight, is the other thing I was going to say. That would be um, That would be madness. I don't want to reroll our whole run, or do I? Or do I? Or do... No, okay. Golden Bombs. Yeah, you know what? Golden Bombs is going to save us infinity time. Alright, so what are we going to do? Very simple. If the room's easy... 
will do it if the room is even mildly difficult or it looks like it's gonna take a while then we bounce these guys are like we kill them before the bomb would even go off curse of the maze is gonna fuck up our whole day here I guarantee it so this room is bomb worthy but I don't trust myself to not have to do it again good play okay keep going okay we've already done this room this is probably that same room duplicated I'd like to give myself more than two minutes per floor as a thing so we still got shoal and we've got the rest of this floor right now what do we have well we got two and a half floors with six and a half minutes you can do the math on that borderline two minutes and a bit per floor so again the faster we move along the better we feel it's our last deal do we want to take a deal with the devil and maybe amp up our DPS nah we've gone this far with deals with the angel why start making enemies now right throw bombs down there we should have done that ages ago dude how many that you've spawned too many of these guys I can't take you seriously anymore I was gonna say it would be nice to get permanent Polaroid invincibility but that's not sensible be just be dead we still gotta kill you guys too I don't know if I've ever had enemies alive when we killed mom's heart that was very strange miter good good shit good shit okay we're going down to shoal almost went up to the cathedral good stuff buddy okay we got five minutes and 45 seconds with the curse of the lost this is not good but I think it's not catastrophic so it's all I mean it's probably all about going fast but it's also all about getting value out of all of your time so you know on that room sure whatever uh, okay that one kind of hurt um, on that room I decided these are the worst enemies in the game in my opinion in terms of like percentage chance to hit us uh, on that room I decided you know we're gonna be stuck here let's use some bombs the bombs were very potent at finding us a single spear at heart which is not what I wanted but it's it's close to what I wanted so I think we're moving to the uh, you know to be honest with you I have no idea where we are after that so just just go with the flow I think if we can get out of this floor by 17 minutes I'm gonna think that we have a strong chance to succeed 18 minutes chance to succeed 19 minutes obviously like that's hell But by the way, if we fail this run, I don't want to bomb my way through this room because we're going to be walking back and forth so much on these floors trying to make this happen. But um, if we fail on this run, that's fine. We, we're probably going to do like an Eden run and try to split up these achievement gets because they're uh, annoying and we're probably going to want to be Azazel for every single one of them. So I will say like damage has been great on this run and I think we've played pretty okay. But we haven't gotten any of the items that I would consider, like, essential. Like, there's certainly we got no Mega. Um, beyond no Mega, the, the real problem is probably no mapping, if I'm being honest. But Black Candle is also, like, a huge get for us. Trying to stay around, like, the outside edge here in the hopes that we can find... Uh, an exit faster fudge this is bad so I think we've hit like that entire side of the floor Emperor save us save us the stars save us okay this was our curse room so this is a different path than the okay that's the wrong way to go hopefully this is the right way to go it's not the teleporters that have twisted us dude or the teleports that have twisted us it's the um, it's not the moon card either you know what though this is this is fine I mean first off we need to have enough HP to beat uh, this run so thank God for the miter and thank God for Ansus, which is so much better than the moon okay we're, we're not set but we're better off oh I would kill to have a teleporter right now he was about to shoot take me higher to the place where blind men see what so 
So earlier I said uh, 17 minutes. I don't stand by that number anymore. I mean, obviously, it's we're at 17 minutes right now. I think because we have Ansus, as long as we don't get a Curse of the Lost, we could swing 1830. Thank you for not being telepills. By the way, we're going to be in fucking tight for 1830 because we have to do every room. We're probably not going to full transform into Guppy. We have to live. We also have to beat Satan on route. And then we have to beat the lamb. Not necessarily an easy task. I recognize, you know, Midas Touch. Sure, I mean, that's Midas Touch is great. It's glorious. To some extent, I can't lie to myself. You know, we're going to be out of here like 1820, 1830. Times are going to be tough, dude. That was really nice. So we may sadly have to do like some tactical Midas touch and then beat the lamb without taking damage. I don't like our odds. Oh, you fucker. You are a dirty dog. Give me the gaz. Thanks for the black hearts, but like, fuck you as well. That's shitty. That's vi what you've done to me is very- And I'm excited and a tears downgrade. You are a shitty, shitty friend game. We have four luck. Stack that shit. We got it. We got to do damage. I really thought we were getting three spirit hearts here. The gaz. Give me the gaz. Well, keep in mind we could be going in the right direction to begin with. I don't want to do this gate room, dude. I can't do this gate room. It's going to it's going to take too much time. It's going to take too much time. We are going to die. And you know what? I am... I think I've come to terms with it. I'm actually... I'm okay with that. I'm mad. Don't get me wrong. I'm mad about the way this one went at the end because I thought we actually had it under control. But when the game gives you Ansus and then Curse of the Lost and then I'm excited. Basically, it just said, you know what? Go fuck yourself. So we're going to put this run on the back burner for now. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Fudge.